are you doing in my utility room? In this video, we're going to be doing a walking challenge. You may have seen them on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. The idea is that someone will say, I will do one kilometre for 100 subscribers or this, that and the other. I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing it as a challenge to myself to see how far I can walk eventually and then improve my fitness because I haven't done a fitness challenge for some time. The premise of this video is that I'm going to be walking four kilometers a day and then adding the next day an additional four kilometers and so on and so forth. Today we're going to be starting that video by doing a four kilometer walk. Now that's a really short walk for me so I'm going to smash it out of the park. It's more the ones towards the end of the video that are going to be struggling with doing a I don't know, a 20 kilometre walk and then doing a 24 kilometre walk the day after, possible, but also all those previous days before are going to catch up to me. And also there's no rest days. That's something that is a bit of an issue. As someone that finds it important to put your health before your fitness and not to prioritise fitness, which will end up hurting your health, this challenge sort of goes a bit against that. So I'm gonna be very careful to make sure that I'm doing all the best that I can do to maintain my health. Feels weird to be recorded in public like this. This is like <laughs> my hometown, so it's strange, but we are already 0.5 kilometers into the walk. And I've decided to come down by the canal. So I said that I wasn't going to get injured and you might be thinking, how is that possible? Well, it might not be possible, but I'm going to try and do the Matherton method. And I know that's sort of, I know it's had it sort of claimed by running, but as a walker, it's, a, it's an endurance thing. So I can claim that too. So essentially I won't be going over 160 heart rate. I'll just be kind of taking it steady, I think. There are any injuries, you know, do with them as best as possible. But I think the real risk is sort of blisters. But just have to see how we get on. We've hit the 2k point and now I'm heading home. Fairly easy walk today, obviously. Um, kind of nice though, it being so small because I've been able to check things out and you know get some cool shots of the camera. Albeit they did feel a bit strange. There's quite a lot of workmen around this because it's still sort of used a lot for work. This area, it's sort of industrial work, like steel works and fabrication and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I cracked this bit off. Show you me watch to prove I've done 4K. Um, and yeah, get ready for day two. Day one complete, four kilometers in 41 minutes. So far I've walked quite a bit of this walk that I did yesterday, I've not found any litter whatsoever. Uh, so that's a, either, I mean I'm sure there is litter down here usually, but there's a river and canal trust and they must do a lot of work around here because it is spotless. So hopefully we do find somewhere where we can help out, but <laughs> looks like these guys have really got it under control. So here we have a bunch of just like 
micro plasticky type bits where it looks like someone's just gone over this with a uh, a mower. So let's get picking them up. They're tiny. You can tell this has just been absolutely battered by some of them. Hey, there's a master bag. <laughs> Look at this. Weird. Some people on a barge over there and they must work for the, uh, the canal. Uh, canal and River Trust. And uh, they just asked me what I was doing and obviously I was litter picking. Um, and they just let me know that this area has just been uh, planted with wild seed. So I think it's cool that I've chosen this box. It might just give them that bit more of a healthier environment to thrive. Regardless of what it is, it's important to get rid of it. Head up to that top bit. That little crap there. Hiya, pal. How you doing? Yeah. What's this? Huh? What what's this workplace? What what do they Cow do with car wash? Car wash, yeah. Oh yeah, just here, innit? Yeah yeah, car wash. Yeah. I thought it was that big building yeah. that was a part of this. Yeah, car wash. yeah cool. Yeah. yeah man. The uh you know, those guys on the barge just went past, they must look after this bit of land, uh this canal. Yeah. Apparently they've just planted a load of flowers here. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be nice when they come yeah. out, but very nice, yeah, I'll have to look up. Right, got a decent amount. I'm gonna call it at this spot because we've walked one and a bit kilometers. Oh, we've got eight more as well. Six and a bit more to go. I'll take these gloves off because they're a bit disgusting. Oh, my hands are sticky. I really hope that's sweat. Right. Let's go see what else there is. There's a big metal bar, but I don't think this bag's heavy duty enough to grab that. That did? It's the bridge ways which are the worst. Yeah, people look like they've been chilling here smoking bud or something. Yeah, no, we, to be honest, we've, we've got it pretty clean, this canal. Yeah, it? no, I, I was noticing, like... Yeah, no, because Martin, one of my volunteers, he does. Because I work for the Canal River Trust, and basically, we're, we're sort of resurfacing the towpipe. These are all volunteers, which are doing right. the work. Right, okay. But why just me, watch out for needles? Yeah, 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 no, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fully, yeah. I've got all my jabs as well. I've got my hepatitis. I've got all stuff like that. I work. Yeah, I, I will be so careful. Is this going on a YouTube or something? It will be. We're going on my YouTube channel, yeah. Oh, so what's your YouTube channel? As I was say, if you finish, if your bag's full or you want, you want another bag, just come up and just come up here and get so. on the pontoon. All right, mate. Thank you. Oh, some balloons. I wonder if someone's had a party or if. Uh... You know what? I've not seen any smart whip containers, so no sign of not. What that stinks. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was a nasty smell. I don't know what that smell is. I hope it's not a turd. I'm not a big fan of poo. You could sleep under here, I think. You know, if you were homeless going for a rough time, maybe this is a good spot, but... And then I guess the last of your worries is where stuff's gonna go in the bin, so... But this is a lot of drug paraphernalia, so... Who knows? I'm gonna have to go get another bag off of those guys in a minute, because... they get really full. I'll keep my nose away from the floor as well because yeah I keep almost throwing up so that's cool I feel very much like that unemployed friend on a Tuesday meme I know it's a Wednesday still on 2.8 kilometers I'm gonna go grab another bag uh, I thought I brought more batteries to 
um, record the video in case it uh, did die, but somehow I've managed not to pull that in my bag, so it'll definitely be on the table at home. Um, slowly getting rid of this. I don't have a lot of battery on my phone either, I don't have the charger for that out, so I'm just gonna get this bag done without any more recording and uh, head back and show you um, what I've done. But essentially I'll have done two bags of rubbish from the canal. So final update, I've removed quite a bit off of this area. Yep, there's still stuff there. And there's still stuff around here, but there's a massive pile here that I've got rid of, granted there's stuff there. Um, and then just a moment ago, I went out and cleared this section out. It's full of uh, drinks and stuff like that. Very difficult to get to. I can only reach to about here, so. Um, but that bag's full now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and do an extra kilometer, or a kilometer and a half. And then I'll head back. These are the volunteers that work on the canal. Uh, they come out here to do lots of different projects. I was just speaking to one of them. They do like a round walk and stuff like that. So that's day two. Uh, I noticed that there was a massive chunk of recording, which I thought was recording, but wasn't. And that was essentially the other side of the bridge. I filled up uh, that bag and then I filled up another black bag, which you saw from my phone recording. Uh, just want to say if anyone from uh, the river and Canal Trust is watching or any of the volunteers are watching, uh, I think you do an amazing job. Um, I thank you so much for being so uh, kind to me, you know, giving me an extra bin bag, uh, just talking to me about what, what you were up to. Uh, I think, yeah, that was, that was just amazing. It's really added another dimension to that walk or just me going out and uh, just collecting litter by myself. Um, and I really appreciate you guys taking the rubbish and uh, getting rid of it for me because uh, that would have been a bit of a walk carrying all that rubbish. But yeah, thanks so much for what you do to keep that canal clean. It is immaculate for the most part, but there are parts obviously I was able to find and you know that they're there, um, but there's only so much manpower in the world and there are more important jobs like restoring the path, which is what they were currently doing whilst I was there. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. And that was day two. We're out in Norfolk Park, which is in the sort of centre of Sheffield. And I came here specifically today because there's a bunch of wild garlic that's just coming through. Um, up north, it's not fully out yet. There's usually absolutely loads down by the river near me. But up here, there's a nice patch. So I'm going to grab some of that, take it home. I'm going to make some sort of pesto with it. So a way you can identify it is, I mean, for one, it looks like this. It's like a big leaf. So you can normally smell it from quite far away, but a good way to test if it's ooh, good way to test if it's the garlic itself is to smell it and it smells just like normal garlic. But yeah, that's what a bunch of it looks like, almost like I don't know. Like leaves off of a plant. So there we have it. This is just Take it about that much. Um, I'll weigh it when I get home to know if I've got the right amount or not. We're looking for about 150 grams and then you mix it with pine nuts and other things to turn it into pesto. So that concludes day three. Uh, you might notice from the pictures I was on the bus when I, or maybe I was at uni when I took the photo um, 
of like the the final distance um I, I just couldn't fit in the whole 12 kilometers before i had to go to university so it's a, like a accumulation of 11 point something on that walk that you saw and then just like a, a bit of a kilometer on my way to university uh, but yeah day three complete This is day four. Chloe's with me today. I just saw us putting our boots on and we're in the Peak District. We're heading up Kinder Scout. Uh, the route's looking about seven kilometers. So when I get home, I'll have to finish it off. is coming in now we are just about to go up that steep part of uh, Grinsbrook up here has been fun Chloe's really enjoyed it it was her first time coming up this way um, so she's had good fun but she doesn't like the look of this now <laughs> and we've done 4.6 kilometers for the day How are you feeling about that? Tired. Tired. Wet. <laughs> yeah, very wet. My feet are wet. Oh, I'm alright. Oh, right. So I'm still. Yeah. back from Edale now and I'm just walking along the canal we're on about 10 kilometers so there's six more left to do I think this morning after doing that well it's basically a mountain um, I'm really tired I'm just generally quite tired I think you know no rest days I'm starting to feel my muscles being quite tired uh, I'm not sure how long I'll be able to continue this if I'm honest. That was day four. Very tired. I don't think going up a mountain on a distance challenge is a good idea. My knees and my ankles have got a little bit of pain, but hopefully that subsides when I go to bed tonight. Uh, tomorrow is 20 kilometers, which is a big one. I should be able to pull that off. Although I can't see this challenge going past seven days. It might not even go past tomorrow. So, yeah. Roll on day five, let's go. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be making this video so soon, but it's the morning of day five, and I don't think I can continue the challenge. Or if I did, I think I might hurt myself. So the big issue is my knee. There's a couple of areas, I don't know if it's ligaments or tendons, but they're feeling quite uh, raw, a little bit sharp and warm. So I'm gonna let them heal. I could have continued to walk and I'd have probably actually had a 
some sort of injury that would have affected my walking, maybe for the rest of my life. I'm not upset, but I am a bit thrown back by how little I've been able to do. Last summer I was really fit. I could do 50 kilometre walks in one go. So to my biggest walk in this challenge was 16 kilometres. And I think if this challenge has done anything, it's taught me that walking as a sport needs to be continuously done to make sure your body is ready for it. As in my knees feel battered, but my muscles feel fine. So it's, it's that making sure you've got the ligament strength. It's like when you just start going to the gym. You know, if you start lifting heavy weights, it's often your muscles could do could do it, but your ligaments really suffer. So this challenge will serve as a good threshold benchmark for when I next decide to do this. My idea is that I'm going to get fitter for the next couple of months, and then we're going to come back to this and see if we can beat it. Thank you so much for watching this video. The editing and the actual completion of the video took quite a lot of time. Um, so if you did enjoy it, or if you think I've got some sort of potential, hit the subscribe button. Because, um, yeah, it just have, just be cool to have you around. 